Hello, Andy Lockwood, and today's question is, do colleges actually negotiate? I get this question a lot because I always talk about how you can improve a lousy offer after it's been issued. And the answer is that many colleges, probably not all colleges, but many colleges negotiate. It's always worth trying, even for the colleges that say, no, we don't negotiate, because I've personally witnessed results that my clients have gotten with our help from colleges that say we don't negotiate. So think of college as a business transaction, even though I know they are nonprofit institutions of higher education, so is the college board, okay, but they're businesses. Just because they don't pay taxes on their earnings doesn't mean that they are not businesses. If you doubt me, where, you know, where do you think all that marketing uh, budget comes from, all those emails and brochures and things like that that you're getting? Look at the salaries they pay presidents, look at the amenities they give kids, okay, you know, where they work out, where they eat and so forth. I don't. I, th I think I'm preaching to the choir here, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll cut that put this part short. So, like any business, they will negotiate because they need to put butts in seats, or they need to attract the right type of uh, kids that meet their own institutional goals. So, whether or not you realize it, that means you are in business also. You're not just applying to college or the parent of someone applying to college. This is a business transaction, and again. If you're not ready to think about it or you just, you know, you can't believe it, that's fine. That's totally your prerogative. That doesn't change the truth that this is a business. So one of my favorite tips uh, or, or I guess tactics that I use a lot is to apply to a couple of schools that compete with each other. So that seems a little weird to uh, to kids and parents sometimes because they're too busy thinking about, well, how can I get in? I'm, you know, I'm chasing the schools around. I'm running track when I hate to sweat. I'm taking the ACT 15 times and you know, doing all these community service hours and special projects and things like that. But the fact of the matter is that the colleges want kids just as badly as kids want them. So what you could do is do a whole 180 type of thing and get the colleges to chase you, not the other way around. So I love to pick colleges that compete with each other. Sometimes it's, that's kind of easy to figure out, you know, conference rivals or Harvard versus Yale, you know, those types of things. Sometimes it's a little harder to figure out. Maybe you go within the, the major, you know, a, a communications major might have a different set of schools that compete, you know, for each other, uh, with, with each other, that type of thing. The worst thing you can do is, um, the worst case scenario is you get an offer from a, a, another school that's a competitor that also has a program that you like. And let's say that the money really works a lot better there than on your quote unquote A-list school. You, you show the A-list school the competitive offer and maybe you can get the A-list school to budge. And like I said, worst case scenario, maybe you end up at the B-list uh, school because the money is much better and you kind of fall in love with it. That's not, stranger things have happened. It can't hurt to have another offer in your hip pocket. Okay. So I hope you found this valuable. I hope this kind of opened your eyes to what's really going on with college. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free, subject to availability, to book a college strategy session. There's a button right here on this page that could whisk you over to our calendar, and we can talk no charge. It's regularly $249, but because you watch this video, and I guess you've got my other videos, you are more than welcome to steal my time from me shamelessly. And uh, no, I'm happy. I'm happy to do it. So go ahead and book while you're thinking about it. If you've been putting this off, this is really happening. Don't delay. Uh, let's, let's talk on the phone soon. This is Andy Lockwood. I hope you are finding these tips valuable, and I'm looking forward to chatting sometime in the near future. Bye-bye.